Good morning, Ephrata. I'm the real Matt Shady. And I'm the Rod Myers. And you're watching Ephrata AM, unfortunately. Today is Tuesday, October 7th. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Not Edwin. Wrong camera. Okay, today a representative from California University of Pennsylvania will be here at 9, and a representative from Franklin and Marshall College will be here at 1.15. Tomorrow a representative from Alvernia College will be here at 8, and a representative from Penn State University Park will be here at 9, and a representative from Juniata College will be here at 1.15. Any students interested in meeting with a representative in the CRC, please sign up at Naviance. Attention juniors, a representative from Thaddeus Stevens will be in the guidance office on October 24th from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. You and your parents are invited to attend an information session on the early enrollment opportunity available. Not only does it save you money, about half the cost, but you can earn college and high school credits at the same time. Now over to Mary with the news. Famed producer and film executive Harvey Weinstein has been expelled from the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences following numerous allegations of sexual assault and harassment from the nearly two dozen women. The board of the Academy voted to remove Weinstein by nearly a two-to-one ratio. The dry season continues with strength in Spain and Portugal this year after wildfires fed by Hurricane Ophelia in the Iberian Peninsula killed 30 people, 27 Portuguese, and 3 Spanish. The firefighters are working around the clock to control the blaze. A center for the dying named Eden has opened up in London after a group of primarily Muslim immigrants began to care for the sick members of various families in their neighborhoods. The Eden Center volunteers provide companionship at no cost to terminally ill patients who have no family or friends to rely on. On this day in history, notorious gangster Al Capone was sentenced to 11 years in prison for tax evasion. Capone made millions of dollars from bootlegged alcohol during the time of prohibition, then became the FBI's most wanted as he took out his competition through his incidents of gang violence, like the St. Valentine's Day Massacre in 1929. Capone died at age 48 in 1947. Now over to Miss L with lunch. Joe! You want to do the lunch? Hey, Joel. Hey, Joel. Hey, Joel. Joel. Joel, you want to do lunch? Hey, 17th. You got to read the... Ah, okay. Joel, you're no fun. Today for lunch, we have... Carnitas Burrito Bowl. A grilled chicken patty with cheese and a whole grain roll. Papa John's Pizza. Bologna and cheese sandwich. Fruit and yogurt parfait with a muffin. Buffalo chicken salad. Your options for sides, fiesta beans. Steamed broccoli. Grape tomatoes with dip. And assorted fresh fruit or... A slushy. Well, it's girls volleyball won three games to zero against Solanco. Effort a quiz bowl played against Penn Manor away yesterday and won two to one. Anyone interested in playing in the dodgeball tournament is urged to pick up a registration materials ASAP for Mr. Geyer's room in room 129 or at effortamounts.com. Don't put it off because the entries are due October 25th. Remember, each team must raise at least $126 to enter and with a three-game guarantee. All proceeds benefit the Juvenile Diabetes Association. Bowling open gyms will be held every Tuesday from 4 to 5.30 at Dutch Lanes, beginning October 17th through November 14th. Come out and meet current team members, Coach Dessinger, and learn what the sport of bowling is all about. A reminder that open gyms for any girl interested in playing basketball are held on Tuesday and Wednesday evenings from 7 to 8.30 in the high school gym. All girls are welcome and invited. Today, the boys soccer and boys and girls soccer teams compete in the semifinal round of the LA League tournament at Mannheim Central. The boys are play at 5.30 and the girls at 7.30. Come out and support them both. The LL League Cross Country Championship race is happening today at the middle school. Girls race at 4 and the boys race at 4.45. Come out and support your fellow Effort of Runners. Now back to the main desk. Reminder, Financial Aid Night is quickly approaching on Wednesday, October 25th at 6.30 p.m. in the EHS Auditorium. Got <laughs> Remind your parents, this collaborative effort 
with the Pennsylvania Hi Higher Education Assistance Agency will clear the, up the financial aid process and provide annual updates to the FAFSA application process. That's it for us today. Have a gr gr mar marvelous, marvelous day, Ephrata.